can see clearly now the rain is gone. Easily one of the best places in the world to see grizzly bears is here in Alaska. Having said that, we've been driving for about two days and we've seen moose, we've seen beaver, we've seen bald eagle, but we haven't seen any bears yet. So because we're only here for a week, we've decided to go on a flight scene tour where they take you to remote parts of Alaska and they guarantee you're seeing bears. So no cars can go here, so it'll be a truly a wilderness experience. I cannot wait. I think I can make it now, the pain is gone All of the bad feelings have disappeared This is so cool, we're on the grasslands about 200 or 150 metres away, this direction, that direction, that direction, there are grizzly bears, cubs, adults, sub-adults, it's really exciting to be here. As great as this trip was, I must admit I thought we'd get a lot closer to the bears than we did. Our guide just didn't want to go there, for our safety I suppose. So as we walked away from them, I admit I was left needing a little bit more. Don't get me wrong, it was amazing, but we thought we'd head to another place that's renowned for its bear encounters, Denali National Park. And it deserves the reputation it's got. It didn't take us long at all before we hooked up with the mother and her two cubs. They were considerably smaller than the ones we'd seen the day before because their diet mainly consists of vegetation, whereas the others get to occasionally feed on salmon. Once again though, we weren't quite as close as I wanted to be to the bears. That happened at the airport. I hope you enjoyed my Northern Exposure experience as much as I did.